I'm Drew Mitchell. This is Acoustic 30. We have Jeff Coleman today, and uh, I still don't know what to do with my hands when I'm filming. Hey, it's Acoustic 30. I'm Drew Mitchell. We're here with Jeff Coleman. Uh, of course, Jeff Coleman and the feeders. I'll be honest with you, um, uh, Jeff. I'm uh, somewhat intimidated to interview you because I've been listening to you uh, for probably about 10 years. You, you wrote one of my favorite songs of all time, which we're going to, uh, if not my favorite song of all time, Drink Like a Man, which we're going to play towards the end. So welcome to the program, Thank sir. You. Thank you very much. Um, you've been playing for some time. How long has this been the career path? Uh, I don't know. I mean, well, you know, I'm also I also write software, so you know. But but I've done this uh, uh, probably since I was 16. So probably since mid 80s, mm -hmm. late 80s, kind of maybe. Mainly like Central Arkansas and mostly Central Arkansas. I did play uh, was down in Texas for a while. You know, we've played we've played kind of all around the South and stuff. We you know all of. The, Different places in the country, you know, in the just, US, so. just all around. Yeah. And of course, we're going to talk about. So this is the latest album, yes. right? Yes, Interstate Zero. Yes, it came out about a month ago. Yes, uh, and it's uh, available, I assume, wherever music is sold. Absolutely. So the Feeders, your band. How long is uh, have y'all been together? As a about ten years, maybe. Right. I think I may actually I may be wrong with that. I think a little more than ten years, maybe about fifteen years. I think. That is yeah. forever uh, for a band. <laughs> yeah, we've been around a while, so yeah. How'd you uh, come together? And let's give a shout out uh, to the other guys in the band, too, in the feeders. Yeah, uh, we got Mark Chiaro who plays guitar, uh, Stan James plays drums, and Jerry Cordova plays bass. All right. Um, well, I, I feel like let's go ahead and get to music. We have a live audience, and we have... Uh, um, well, we have we're worldwide, Jeff. Uh, cool. To be worldwide. honest with you, that's good. Uh, the space is the International Space Station seeing this, maybe. Yeah, broadcast all to right. uh, other galaxies. Yeah, all right. What do you feel like starting with? Uh, let's do. We'll do a song from the new album. This okay. is from Interstate Zero. This is a song called Just Drive. Here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Just try. 
another day But when my ancestors force me to a movable object You better move it out of my way Yeah, yeah, yeah Both hands, both hands on the wheel now Jeff Coleman, just drive, thank you. just drive off the new album. By the way, I love having a prop, uh, prop uh, because I have something <laughs> to do with my hands. Uh, it's off the new album, Interstate Zero. Um, what was the writing process on that song? On that song, um, I'm not. I can't. Uh, well, we were trying to come up with kind of like a kind of like a driving kind of song, so we just kind of came up with it. Um, do you find it's harder to do something kind of more upbeat? For me, when I try to write, like I can write low tempo, well, Tom Waitsy stuff all day, but anything fast, I have to. Well, it's just it just depends. I mean, sometimes it's like you'll. Um, it just depends on uh, on on kind of you know. It depends on if you're doing the music. The music part is always easier. It seems like it's kind of lower, like a like a minor key kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But the it just depends on the subject matter, I guess. It's like it all kind of comes. Does sort of at a piece, uh, all at once, sort of. Yeah. Do, does the subject matter come first? Is there an idea? Then it kind of fills usually in. Usually what happens, I think, is I usually sit down. Either oh, well, okay. No, I got you. Either I got you. I, either, I, uh, either I start. Thank you very much. Oh, you're either, welcome. Either I usually start just kind of strumming on the guitar and kind of come up with something or, or play the piano or something like that. And uh, the music, I usually st I start to, to do something and it kind of gives me an idea of what to sing over it. And, and I usually come up with, with something, some part of the song that, that kind of catches me and then, that, then I sort of Just kind of organic. Yeah. I yeah. By the way, I love your guitar and you can always tell a well-loved uh, guitar. I don't know how, how much the camera can see, but as you can see the wear patterns of the guitar. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I, I use it a lot. I mean, I, I play How long do you have this one? This one I got about ten years ago, I think. Of course, I've got the other dates wrong. So, uh, good enough. Uh, I mean, yeah, after a while. About ten years. I remember I got this because I had another guitar that I used a lot, and I had a pickup in it, and I just had a lot of trouble with the pickup, and it never sounded quite right. And I was like, "Well, what I need to do is I just I'm playing enough gigs where I'm doing acoustic stuff. I just need to get a good sound acoustic. I just need to get a. And so I'm like, "What's the best sound? Like Martin. I'll go Martin. get a Martin. Yeah. Well, it's hard to go wrong with <laughs> yeah, a Martin. So it I'll go Martin. get a Martin. I'll get a good sound of Martin get with a Fishman in it." And we'll just uh, we'll just go from there. And so yeah, so I, so I got and I remember I, the first night. I think I bought it that day. And the night that night we I think we opened for Cracker. Played it that night. And then like a, maybe a couple maybe the next week I think we played with Marty Stewart. I think nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so, so it's seen some yeah. gigs. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, you yeah. feel like playing something else off the album? I'm looking off at the, the titles. What do you think? Funny. I'm. I'm I'm fascinated by the title Brown Liquor. Bad liquor. Bad liquor. Bad liquor. I just have my mind on brown liquor. We can apparently, do bad, we can do bad. Bad liquor is a pretty heavy song. Well, I can do it on acoustic. I'll give it a shot. I don't think I've ever played it on acoustic before. We'll give it a shot. Oh, we're debuting let's do, then. Let's do it. We're gonna try it. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played this on acoustic. All right. It's, it's a pretty heavy song. We're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Wait. 
to break up a bear. Protection A 45 When the devil comes for my liquor jar One of the same getting out of here alive Jeff Coleman, it's you, Bad you. Liquor, it's off Enters 8 uh, uh, Zero, and that was the acoustic debut, as I yeah, uh, just found out, and it happened on Acoustic 30. <laughs> so uh, while we have the second and uh, uh, a live audience, let's uh, make sure that we uh, invite everyone to like your Facebook page yes. and all that Jeff stuff. Jeff Coleman with Feeders, yeah, Facebook, Jeff Coleman with Feeders, yeah. And Acoustic 30 on YouTube and on um, <clears throat> Facebook, which I believe is where you're watching it right now, so you're probably aware. But uh, like it, subscribe, do all that stuff. It's good for you. You get uh, acoustic debuts of um, songs that aren't acoustic songs. Right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what uh, number Even album is it? Even if it's not that good, is it, we're, you're going to get it Are you anyway. kidding? That was excellent. <laughs> I, like, I'm gonna, you're not getting this back. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> so yeah, don't, this belongs to me now. <laughs> um, what album is this for you, Jeff? The, um, for me, it's probably maybe the fourth or fifth. Uh, for the feeders, I think it's the third album, second second. Third out. Well, we had, let's see, we have uh, we had uh, American B, which kind of was the band's first album. And then there's a there's another album, Done to Death, which is a uh, which is a kind of a compilation album. It's it was going to be a greatest hits album, but I didn't really have any hits, so we said we call it Done to Death. <laughs> so, so, so that was that album. So there are a few of those songs on there, and then this is the this is the next one. And actually, this album we originally we haven't we had enough for a double album. We were going to do a double. Um, but we, we were recording this ourselves, so we, uh, you know, it, it gets to be kind of a kind of a, a big deal. So so we had all these songs, and I, I we, we got together one week, and I was like, look, guys, we've got about half of them almost done. Why don't we do, release half of it, and then we'll work on the next half. And you got two albums? Yeah, absolutely. We got oh. a, so there's another half of this that's going to come out later. So, so yeah. do, uh, do yeah. you know when that's coming out? Uh, hopefully early next year sometime. So okay. I, I, I wanted to get it out this year, but I think it's probably going to be early next year, so. Well, that's cool, yeah. man. Uh, yeah. I'm looking through the track list uh, again. Again, it's uh, Jeff Coleman and the Feeders, Interstate Zero. Um, it's available, I'm sure, wherever music is yes. available yeah, and yeah. what the kids call the internet. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I feel kind of weird like throwing songs at you out your own album. Yeah. Is that all right? Is it okay you that I do try, that? You can, uh, hopefully, uh, yeah. Is there, is there something you feel like Here, going let, to uh, next? Let me do this one. I'm going to do this song. This is a song from... Uh, I wrote this song... This is a song called Heat Lightning. This was a song that I, I performed, and it's on the album with uh, Amy Garland. We did this with Amy Garland. Uh, I wrote this song for a movie called The Valley Inn. They, uh, they asked me to, to write a song for it, and I wrote it the night before, and had uh, Amy come over about 10 o'clock that night, and we sang it, and then we, we went to the, the, the movie, and we did it the next day, and it's in, the, it's in the movie. So if you see the movie The Valley Inn, this song is in the movie. With me and uh, and Amy Garland singing it, so this is a song called Heat Lightning, from the album Interstate Zero, and also from the movie The Valley Inn. Here we go. Sunday morning, week before last, you showed up in blue jeans. Suitcase at church of 
sat in back like a scene from a movie and the preacher So empty, there's not enough words I can write. It's dusty and dirty, and we go to bed early each night. And the rains don't. Sing me to sleep I never knew what you wanted from me And the world just reveals What it wants you to see From heat lightning 40 miles east From heat lightning 40 miles east Ran from your arms 400 miles down the highway The big wheels were turning But they never seemed to turn my way And I left all those letters from you But I left it Never knew what you wanted from me And the world just reveals what it wants you to see From heat lightning 40 miles east From heat lightning 40 miles east I can't feel the rain on my face Sunday morning, week before last, you showed up in blue jeans. You grabbed your suitcase and slipped out the back as the service was ending. If I'm gone too long, baby, don't. Hang on any longer for me. Heat lightning, thank you. Love that. Um, again, it's on uh, Interstate Zero, the new album. Uh, when you write a song like that, which is obviously emotional, do you, are you in an emotional place? I mean, how does a song Probably look? so. I mean, I remember I was thinking about the movie, about the scene, and you know, you just kind of think back to stuff and. When I wrote that, actually, I was on the way home from Arby's. It was odd, but anyway, I'd which gone, is a sad gone, experience. <laughs> no, 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 it was good. It was a very good ham sandwich. Yeah, with they have but, fine uh, ham sandwiches. But, uh, but so yeah, I was. Uh, I remember I was had I I had been kicking it around all day and I couldn't come up with anything. And I was like, Ugh. and so I was kind of frustrated. And then I went to get something to eat, and then on the way back, I, it kind of came to me. So.
So. Anyway, and then I called him. Amy said, "Get over here. We got to figure the song out." So anyway, do, do you normally co-write or do you write alone? No, I, did, I wrote the song and then I had her come over so we could figure out the harmony because she sang it with me on the movie. So, yeah. dude, I love it. That's great. Again, Heat Lightning, uh, the I album. Usually, yeah, we 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 don't usually uh, co-write, but uh, the, yeah, t- typically I usually write them and then uh, occasionally the band, you know, will we'll work on a song together. But yeah. yeah. Well, uh, do, do, again, it's going to be like asking you to pick a favorite kid. Do you have a favorite song on the album? <laughs> on the album? I don't know. Um, well, the thing is, is most of these songs, they really take, uh, they take the, the whole band. I, 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 they're, they're, it's a very rock album more than, 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 than past than stuff. What? Um. So, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff to, to me, there's like, there's like really great guitar solos from, from mm-hmm. Mark and, you know, a lot of uh, cool drums and, and, and bass and stuff. So, you know... Um, I could do another song off it if you'd like. I yeah, think. no, dude, I'm I'm you, at your disposal. What are we, what are we, I'm curious we, about "End of the World" and "I Was There." Is that doable? I could do it. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting song. It, it's it's interesting that the, that the album starts off with the end of the world. So that's good, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, like, no, yeah. that's where everything it's starts, like, right? It's like uh, like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? Yeah, <laughs> where the, the Vogons hang in the, in the, in the sky like bricks don't, right? Isn't that what they said? <laughs> end of the world, and I was there. This is called "I Was There." Here we go. Jumping the end of the yeah. world, and I was there. Woo. I love it. Again, a debut acoustic, uh, <laughs> acoustic performance from Interstate Zero. Uh, excuse me. I was handed a uh, note while you were singing that by our lovely uh, production assistant, Mr. Sharp Dunaway. Uh, he uh, uh, wanted me to ask you, how fast can you solve a Rubik's Cube? A little out of left field, but this must have a story. I don't know. I mean, I don't, uh, usually around, it usually takes... If I'm talking, I probably I'll probably get distracted. But usually around three minutes or two, three minutes, something like that. You, you were really humble when you when you said well, that. Well, right? it just depends on if I'm distracted. If I'm sitting there, that's the only thing I'm doing. I can do it in about two, three minutes, maybe. I guess I don't know. So you're brilliant. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I, I've, I've never been able to do one, you, so it's is really... Is there one in here? Well, I didn't, probably didn't want to waste time doing it, but yeah, yeah. Well, what's the trick like, to it? Is there like one... Well, I remember, I, 
you know, it's funny because I got I, I started to think a few years ago I wanted to try to solve it again, and so I got one and I started messing with it, and I started to figure out like these. If you, there's these certain patterns that if you follow it, you can you can do it. But you've got to kind of figure it out. It took a while to do it, and I remember when I finally figured it out, I was like, "Wow, how come I didn't do this when when they first came out?" And I, oh yeah, because I was ten. <laughs> So, yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah. Well, I, I, that's well, that's incredible. Three minutes. I, I, well, I, think, I think three. Yeah, like three, two, three minutes. I think. Yeah. I'm really impressed by that. Next, well, next the time. The first we, time it took a long. Well, the first time it took like 20 years, right? 30, 30 years, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to come up with some jokes there, but I, I'm not going to. Well, uh, again, Jeff Coleman, the album uh, Interstate Zero. Jeff Coleman and the Feeders available. Uh, wherever music is sold, and uh, man, I'm just enjoying hearing you play. I, I hope you don't mind. Is there anything you want to? Uh, but the last song we're going to uh, play is uh, uh, "Drink Like a Man," yeah, which yeah, is my we... favorite song of all time. And uh, do we want to do Are that we ready? now? Just roll into that we're one. ready. We'll call it we're ready. We're ready for "Drink Like a Man." Oh. Get, us, get us information. Yeah, let's do, uh, <laughs> first of all, let me say, this song, uh, Sharp Dunway, who, who you heard off camera, uh, we were driving down to Little Rock uh, to do radio, uh, which we, we used to do together, and uh, he put your song on, yeah. Drink Like a Man, and I uh, have just loved it ever since. I've tried to learn to play it, I haven't been able to do it, so I'm really excited to hear it. Uh, let's get all your social media and your well, you know, basically, everything. I mean, we're on, we're on, you know, we're on Facebook. The main place you can find us on Facebook is Jeff Coleman and the Feeders. Facebook dot com, Jeff Coleman and the Feeders, and uh, of course I've got a you know a page as well. But that, that's the main place it goes. Jeff Coleman and the Feeders dot. Uh, well, there is also Jeff Coleman and the Feeders dot com, uh, but but there's also the, the main place the Facebook page really, and we've all, we also have a have a, a Twitter account too. So so and, do all that right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Right now, yeah. well, pause, pause it, then come back and listen to it after you do that. Well, if but, you're on Facebook, you're probably if this if you're watching this on Facebook, then you're probably very close to the Jeff Coleman and the Feeders page. So you should like it right now. Yeah. Do that again, Jeff Coleman, uh, Interstate Zero, the new album, my favorite song, um, really of all time. Okay, uh, here we go. All right, let's do it. And you can sing with me. Well, I used to think women were better than booze But I've known these women too well You give them all that you make But you can't make them stay Out of those sleazy motels You can test them in diamonds and roses But I don't And drink like a man I went home to see my woman I could not believe what I found She spoke in my favorite brand With an insurance salesman The deal had already gone down I went down Said, shut up and drink like a man. Well, life is a bottle of whiskey. You're only as drunk as you feel. I thought when she's gone that she'd miss me, but she don't. Yeah, and that's the deal. Well, I used to think women were top on my list. But I've known you women too long. You give them all of your best. And all you got left are nothing but depressing songs. Total your car 
just shut up and drink like a man. You can curse the whole world, you can cry like a girl, or you can shut up and drink like a man. Drink like a man. Jeff Coleman and the Feeders. Get the album, check it out. That's the greatest song ever. I listen to it on repeat. Thank you, sir. It's an honest uh, you, pleasure for me. Thank you. And I finally found something to do with me.